nowadays marketers and business owners pay a lot of attention to chatbots, social media marketing, pay-per-click advertising, influencer marketing, um, and all the new opportunities and innovations that digital avails to us. But this is distracting us from one of the oldest yet most effective means of messaging and communication, email marketing. Email marketing is such a worthwhile and highly converting marketing strategy. It has one of the highest return on investment. Um, according to HubSpot, with email marketing, you can get $38 for every $1 spent, which is um, an ROI of 3,800%. Email marketing is freaking effective. But in this video, I'm not gonna be telling you all the good reasons to use email marketing, not really. I wanna tell you the two most important things to pay attention when doing email marketing. Now, if you fail to pay attention to these two things, it doesn't matter what content you're giving out, the, how many people you have on your email list, what your business is about, who you are. If you fail to use these two strategies, your email marketing is going to fail. So stay with me and learn what these two important things are. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is PC Timmy and I make brand marketing and inspirational videos every single week. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Also turn on the bell notification button so you don't miss out every time I upload a new video. Let's get it right into email marketing. Like I mentioned before, email marketing is such an effective marketing channel. I mean, think about it. Is there anybody that you know that doesn't have an email address? I mean, if there is, you can probably just count them with one of your hands, right? As a matter of fact, active email accounts are set to hit 5.6 billion at the end of 2019, according to HubSpot. So email marketing is great. Everybody uses email. 90% um, of all customers, consumers check their email every day. 73% um, of all millennials prefer for communication with businesses to be via email. And over 80% of business professionals believe that email marketing actually helps in customer retention, right? It's also very cost effective and is one of the best ways to uh, keep in contact with your existing customers, get them to make repeated purchases, take them through your buyer's journey to until, until they'll become brand advocates and brand loyalists. It also helps you to convert people who are just interested in your value content so that they become paying customers actually. It cuts across all stages of buyer's journey. But like I said, this is not a why email marketing is important class. This is a what two things do I what things do I need to pay attention for email? Now there are two in my experience, two most important things that can make your email marketing effective or totally work. The first one is segmentation. And the second is personalization. Now, segmentation and personalization, they go hand in hand. You can't segment without personalizing and you can't personalize without segmenting. Otherwise, your email marketing is still going to flop. What is segmentation? Segmentation is simply putting your email list into different segments or different categories. If you have a hundred subscribers, you can then break that a hundred email addresses into subgroups and that'll be your segment. Now here's the thing, email segmentation can only be done at the beginning through the kind of information that you collect. Um, and this is where a lot of business owners and marketers miss it. When you start trying to build your email list, most of them just collect some information, name and email address. But think about it. How can you use just name and email address to segment at the beginning, right? So if you want to actually start your email marketing right, it starts from when you're building your database, the kind of information that you collect. If you go beyond and collect their agenda, collect their location, their industry, their workplace, their interest, why do you want to subscribe to your list? Then when you start, when you send them the first set of email, you can start personalizing based on information that you collected when they sign up for your email list. And then thereafter, after they're using the demography and whatever information that you have from them the other ways to segment your target or your email list is based on the activity the activity on your email um, list and your activity on your website so for instance if I send emails today and to set up people do not open them I can further segment that list and send another email to people who did not open or people who opened but did not click that's email, email activity segmentation 
or I could go further and say, okay, this set of people signed up on my website homepage, another set of people signed up on my website FAQ page, another set of people signed up on maybe a blog post on my page. Based on where they signed up on my website, I can then segment them into three different lists and send them more contextual information based on the activity. I can also use just their general website activity. Did they add something to their cart and abandon it? Did they um, in the case interest for an ebook did they increase in did they watch a particular video i can use the activity on my website to segment my email list so i can always send together information the most important aspect of segmentation is putting your email list into different buckets into different categories based on either the information you collected from them that's their demography their gender their location their industry their interest whatever and then subsequently based on your email engagement activity are they opening your emails are they clicking on your emails are they converting your emails and also based on your website activity you can all you're always going to be adding different people to different buckets you can take somebody here from a demography bucket based on maybe a legal location and take them to another one based on a website activity that they have done take them to another one if they've not opened your email in three months but you're always going to be updating all your email list and all your email segments based on the activities on your email and on your website and initially based on information you collected from them the second most important aspect of email marketing is personalization now these two things seem similar but don't confuse them segmentation is putting your list your list of email addresses into different categories based on who those people are it's like saying all the females come here or the or the, uh, the, the guys come here but personalization is really in the language and in the messaging and in the content that you send to them personalization is easily done by saying hello peace or hello steven or hello yvonne or hello michael right that's the simplest and most basic form of email personalization but you can go further and personalize based on also their history on your website so if somebody goes on my FAQ page and I want to send them an email I can say hey hi Steven you will notice that you spent a lot of time on our email on our FAQ page um, on this particular date is there a particular question you want answered that's a personalized and segmented email um, if somebody decides uh, I've been on my website, say an e-commerce website, and has been looking through um, a particular set of products, and probably adds to cart and they abandon the cart. I can take all the cart abandonment um, users into one email segment and then send them a personalized message based on that particular product that they're looking at. Not just using their name, but saying, "Hi, I noticed that you're looking at this particular product, and um, this is a ten percent discount in case you are still interested to come and buy back." So personalization is more than just saying hi this person in the email body. It's about the language that you use, about the content that you send them. Uh, and most importantly, is making sure that you're not just personalizing, but you're also personalizing to a segmented audience. So for instance, you don't want to say hi somebody's name, hi, hi Steven in an email and talk about the person's history, but then you send it to everybody on your email list. No, personalization and segmentation always have to go hand in hand. So the first thing is, Break it into categories then based on the activity the messaging the content the language you use also has to be personalized to those people another aspect of personalization that you do not want to take for granted is your subject line your subject line is the singular most important reason why people will open your email or not okay the second thing is the sender name but most importantly is the email subject it's the reason why people would like okay you know what i'll just mark as unread as mark as read even though i've not opened it or the reason why people open it and actually consume the content so you must make sure that your subject line is not just a great indicator a great indicator of what they're about to see when they open the email but it's also personalized so that they feel like they need to actually open and interact with the email so you can even add their name on, on the on the subject line you can add maybe the activity or something really catchy that they can totally totally relate to based on what they how they've interacted with you before or how they came to sign up on your newsletter or based on the information they're about to get but make sure that your personalization starts from your subject line and then straight down to the body all the language and the lingua the tenses the content itself has to be based on the particular individual or that segmented kind of individual now if you accurately segment your email list and then you miss that with personalizing your content you're going to have a huge return on investment from your email marketing but you can't just segment and then your your, your content is too generalized and you can't just send a personalized content 
so a list that's not segmented they never work without each other right they always work hand in hand but if you pay attention and you deliberately and creatively do these two things the email marketing is going to give you really large returns do you know of any email marketing strategy that you think is a must please let me know in the comment section down below do you also have any questions about email marketing that you want me to answer please leave your questions below i would totally love to answer them don't leave this channel without subscribing just click 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 below and turn on the bell notification button if you leave this channel without subscribing god will not be happy with you no jokes but thanks for watching peace out